Navigated Endovascular Aortic Repair, abbreviated NAVEVA, is a research project in vascular medicine. The research group is a cooperation between different medical and technical partners in Lübeck. Since October 1st, in 2017, the Federal Ministry of Education and Research has been sponsoring us. The founding is initially for three years and comprises about 4.2 million euros. Let us start with our motivation and the clinical background of NAVEVA. The aorta is the main artery in the human body and provides the organs with blood. Vascular diseases influence the shape of the affected vessel. NAVEVA treats the widening of a vessel, which is called aneurysm. The major risk factors for a widening of the aorta are male gender, high age and smoking cigarettes. The rupture of nanorism is mostly lethal, so the treatment should be in time. A big problem is that 4 or 5 patients do not have any symptoms until the rupture. In most cases, aneurysms are discovered by accident during other diagnostic investigations. There are 1 million operations of aneurysm per year worldwide. Only 30% is open surgery, the other 70% are endovascular. In the minimal invasive intervention, the doctor sews a stent graft into the vessel, so the blood supply of the aneurysm is cut off. Where the stent prothesis and the material has improved in the last 15 years, the application of contrast agent and radiation is still needed during the endovascular intervention. Both the contrast agent as well as the radiation create health hazards. Contrast agent causes kidney damage and radiation is carcinogenic. Especially, the danger caused by the radiation is a big problem. For patients, it is a one-time contact with radiation. But the surgical teams follow countless interventional procedures in their life. We want to solve these problems by NAVEVA. The goal of NAVEVA is to execute the endovascular intervention without any contrast agent and radiation. In the following video, we will show you that neither is needed for navigation. Navigation can actually be realized using new technologies. NAVEVA uses different tools and methods for navigation and visualization. These are used before and during the endovascular aortic repair to avoid contrast agent and radiation. Next we will explain all of them separately. We start off with 3D rapid prototyping of vascular phantom models. Before we started the research, we thought about the principles for NAVEVA and decided to work without animal testing. Instead, we used 3D rapid prototyping to produce patient-specific vascular phantom models for tests and simulations and for evaluating NAVEVA in a realistic environment. 3D print offers many different materials with various stiffnesses and prices. The basis of the models are data from CT angiography of anonymous patients with real pathology. The first step of the production is the segmentation of patient data. Then follows the production of the patient-specific phantom model by 3D printing. During the last step, the support material gets removed. The result is an accurate but expensive phantom model. Next method is the virtual angioscopy by preoperative CT scan. For NAVEVA, we use the preoperative CT scans for three different visualizations. All of them are used for planning and orientation during the intervention. One of them is a virtual angioscopy that shows the vessel from the inside. The second is the section plane of the angiography presented in real time. Finally, the third one is a 3D rendering of the vessels within the body as well as the current position of the catheter. Now we will have a look at the navigation during the intervention with fiberglass and OCT. To navigate through the human body during the intervention, we want to integrate a glass fiber into the stand delivery system. Orientation with the help of glass fiber is realized by burning a brack grating into it. The change of the reflection spectrum, which occurs when the grating is stretched or compressed, is utilized to determine the exact position. 
If a glass fiber is integrated into a stand delivery system, it can be localized as well. The data of the catheter's position can be overlaid with the 3D visualization in real time. In addition, a fiber for optical coherence tomography, abbreviated OCT, will be integrated into the stand delivery system. It allows navigation by imaging the vessels with high resolution. This imaging technology can be used to verify the position of the catheter in the vessel and to check later whether the stand graft is correctly placed. OCT will improve accuracy and safety by continuously providing local feedback on the tip of the catheter with real-time visualization of the vessel. Finally, the last element of NAFEVA, the Augmented Reality Headset. A real-time navigation framework for the HoloLens from Microsoft is being developed. It allows a 3D view of the vascular structures without any contrast agent and radiation. The HoloLens is voice and gesture controllable, so you can use it freehand. Using extrinsic landmark-based calibrations, the virtual objects are precisely aligned with the real world. The result is a convincing 3D illusion. The position of the catheter inside the vessels is displayed with the HoloLens as 3D projection. Additionally, the virtual angioscopy, OCT data and angiography are displayed on a virtual canvas in real time. Now you have heard about all the tools and methods we use for NAF EVA, but how do they work together? Before the endovascular intervention starts, a CT angiography is needed. The data is used for the virtual angioscopy, the section plane of angiography and the 3D rendering of the vessels. During the intervention, the doctor inserts a stand delivery system with glass fiber inside into the femoral artery. Now the catheter will be pushed through the artery to the right position. By wearing a HoloLens, the position and orientation of the catheter is displayed on the body at any time during the intervention. The virtual angioscopy, the OCT image and other real-time visualizations are displayable as a 3D projection as well. When the stand graft reaches its final position, it gets placed and the doctor removes the catheter from the body. Research on NAFEVA is still at the beginning and quite a few things need to be examined in more detail before a prototype is ready or even being tested on humans. This applies especially to the study of fiber break navigation. The accuracy of the fiber break navigation needs more testing. Moreover, a special catheter incorporating both the navigation and OCT fibers will have to be developed. If the fiber break navigation does not work at all, we will use electromagnetic tracking for the navigation. Navigated endovascular aortic repair offers benefits which are excellent. The number of minimally invasive interventions increases constantly. Current problems on the endovascular intervention are the application of contrast agent and radiation. Both are dangerous to the health of patients and surgical teams. The tools and methods for visualization and navigation will become a key technology in the future since NAFEVA obviates radiation and contrast agent. It could be a disruptive method using new technologies for the benefit of patients and the surgical teams.